nature, ecosystems, and biodiversity create a safety net for us humans and for our economies. Nature feeds us, waters, warms us, and provides us with livelihood and recreation. Yet, our daily actions have been causing biodiversity decline, which is now faster than ever. Urbanization, agricultural expansion, infrastructure development, excessive resource use and conflicts are driving deforestation and the destruction of habitats worldwide. Africa, home to 20% of all known mammal, bird and plant species, has lost 49 million hectares of forests between 2000 and 2018. Fishery overexploitation is threatening biodiversity in its lakes. In Asia and the Pacific, about 60% of coastal mangroves have been cleared for development and over 40% of coral reefs have disappeared. In Latin America and the Caribbean, between 2000 and 2020, 95 million hectares of natural forest were lost. Overexploitation and contamination of oceans are also among the highest in the world. The Arab region saw a 25% decrease in forest area since the 1990s. Its populations of terrestrial and marine species are in decline. Europe's ecosystems are being cut to pieces by urban sprawl, infrastructure and transport development, with more fragmentation than any other continent. Air, water and soil pollution from industry, farming, transport and plastics must be tackled. Rising temperatures due to climate change and related water scarcity are exacerbating land and biodiversity degradation. Extreme weather events are destroying habitats. Worldwide, pesticides are harming biodiversity. Excesses of nutrients from agriculture as well as from transport emissions are causing ecosystem dysfunction, loss of species and shifts in their distribution. This is why, through the UN, governments have agreed on the Convention on Biological Diversity. And this is why the UN system, including the five regional commissions, have joined forces to deliver as one. Although there are common global drivers for biodiversity loss, each region faces unique challenges requiring tailor-made solutions. Sharing experiences, expertise, and building partnerships within and between regions can make a real difference. With their understanding of regional and national needs and unique convening role, regional commissions serve as a platform to help governments translate global decisions into practical national actions. They also assist governments to integrate biodiversity into national legislation policies and business practices, and to mobilize adequate financing. We must act together to build a sustainable, biodiverse future.